What's up guys? Welcome back to Japan. So on today's video, I have to go see if I can get some tires mounted. I'm gonna go check some prices. I can't drive the GTR. The wife took her Subaru, so I have to walk. It's only like 150 yards down the street. Also, last time I drove by, they had a couple cool cars out there. Let's go check it out. These Japanese batteries aren't very good, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the car, give the, the car a start. Let it run a little bit. I've learned that just sitting out here for a couple of days, these batteries will die. It looks good though. <laughs> Before we head out to the tire store, I want to show you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, you probably haven't seen this. This S14 Sylvia is right next door to my house. Completely abandoned. It has fallen apart. Stuff's been dripping all over the hood. You can see all the rust water. See the rust on the trunk starting. Has mismatched aftermarket wheels. It is a K's. It's a S14 Kuki K's. I don't know if you can see it, but you, it has a front mount. And this car has just been sitting here for years, I think. The nice spider tail lights, nice aftermarket exhaust. It's, it has a tag on it, but it hadn't been JCI'd in forever. Like, look at the rust. Somebody's just letting this thing rot away. Yeah, the 27 year, I think that was five, four years ago, five years ago. This poor car, does this break your heart like it breaks mine? I can't even imagine having a SR20 DET in this S14 Sylvia and just letting it rot away. It is heartbreaking. My goodness. I mean, it looks pretty much savable. There's rust in places, but it doesn't look too bad overall. Need some TLC. Oh, break my heart, guys. Break my heart. So this is pretty cool. Just walking past this shop every day, it's a bike shop. Check out this cappuccino sitting on some Montana Bays, aftermarket front bumper, got some poke in the rear, pretty decent fitment. <laughs> probably the, probably one of the coolest K cars ever made. Got the, the T-tops that pop off, little Dugville spoiler. That is awesome. What a cool car. Would you guys rock this? I mean, it's tiny, but it's still a really like unique and sporty little car. They have, I think it's a three cylinder turbo, but I've heard some of them that sound pretty cool, loud blow off valves and stuff. Pretty awesome. <laughs> so I just got quoted $13, about 1300 yen, 12 bucks to mount balance each tire. Uh, once I get my temporary license plate, I'm gonna bring the car back up here and do it. But real quick, check out some of the cars they have here. Pretty sweet stuff. So right away, the first thing I saw was this Celica GT4 in white, rocking a aftermarket exhaust. You don't see a whole lot of these with this smaller profile wing. What do you guys think? You like the big super style wing or do you like this little low key one? It does have sunroof. It's a, it's a five speed manual. Looks pretty clean interior overall. Oh, S2000. Missed it. But I love the front ends of these Celicas. I think they look super aggressive with the scoops on the hoods and the vents and the headlights. I just, I think these cars are really underrated. Being turbo, all wheel drive, like, I, I would rock one. What do you guys think? Would you drive this? I just think it's, they gotta be super fun to drive. I couldn't imagine being anything else other than that. And check out this. Absolutely gorgeous Sylvia S15 Spec R. Some nice aftermarket wheels. Looks like it has aftermarket side skirts, rear bumper, whole whole, whole body kit. Nice big exhaust. I just love these cars. If I was leaving in 2024, this is definitely what I would buy. Some that favorite front end of any car. 
Oh my goodness, it's so clean. Nice front mount intercooler. Love how it says Sylvia on the headlights. Pretty cool. It is also a five speed. Got to see a Gretti Profect B boost controller in there. Aftermarket shift knob, aftermarket head unit. It looks like a boost gauge on the pillar. Oh no, oh no. The Oki, the Oki Rust. Doing a, doing a number on these cars right here. But check out this Nissan Fuga. This is like a big body car. Has the same motor as a 350Z or a the Z33 Fair Ladies. On some 20 inch wheels. So it has a aftermarket rear bumper. Maybe, well, maybe it's an aero, OEM aero kit, I'm not sure. But it's like a VIP style car. Looks really nice. Headlights do use some love, but nothing too shabby. Got the wood grain interior. Nice big nav. Really nice car. I thought it'd be kind of fun and interesting to count the number of vending machines we pass on the way home. There's one right here. There are like, they're everywhere. So let's see how many we can count. I've walked like 20 steps and there is another one. <laughs> right across the street, there is another one. So that's three, three already. Oh, four, there's one under that tree or under that. There is another one right there. The yellow, yellow box there would be number four or five. And then finally, right by my house, number five and number six, crazy. <laughs> So many vending machines. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up for today's video. I know it was short. I just wanted to bring you guys with me in case we saw anything cool. What was your favorite? Would you rather have the S15 Sylvia or the Celica GT4? Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, as always. See you next time.